and I don't play before dark, so I find during the days a bit. We'll work something out. <laughs> How long have you been making guitars for? Yeah. Um, I had a lot more hair when I started out. <laughs> um, probably, I've been playing for 17 years. Um, fiddling around with guitars for probably 12 years, um, repairing and building for probably maybe seven or eight years now, I suppose. Um, yeah, and, and the, repa the repair work side of it um, certainly helps with the building side of it because you get to see you're fixing something that's broken, so you're seeing why that failed or why it didn't work out, and then you incorporate that knowledge into your building and think, well, that's why that guitar fell apart. That fell apart. How do I build mine so it doesn't do that? Um, but also, I've done a lot of study and I've, I've worked with other guitar makers before and, and things like that. Yeah. And I don't think I've spoken to guitar makers that have been in the game for 40 years and they still don't know everything. It's a constant learning process. Um, probably forever, I guess. The guitar that you're playing right now. Yep. Uh, what steps did you take to make that? Um, so for this is a dreadnought shape, um, Queensland maple, spruce top, West African ebony, um, and it's got the inlay of the axe in the tree stump, and there's a poem written up inside the guitar um, that goes with the, the inlay. And this is a eight string model, which is another thing that you can't walk into a shop and buy. Um, it's, it's really just a, a custom thing. Um, and I actually kept this one for myself. For a few of these instruments and this one, um, I was building up in Queensland, so I um, had good access to Queensland timbers um, with the back and sides. Um, things like spruce comes from Canada or Alaska. Um, the ebony is from West Africa. Um, I deal with uh, wholesalers over in America. It's um, a slow growing timber. Um, so like the, the Sitka spruce on this, uh, there's about, there's a grain line at least every one millimetre and that's a year, um, like an annual growth ring. So um, with a book match top that piece there, you're probably looking at at least 350 year old tree. What sets you apart from the large guitar manufacturers? Um, from a in a guitar manufacturing situation, everyone's um, in a factory procession line and they're just um, you know, pumping guitars out. Um, and when you buy one of those guitars, you're getting the same guitar as someone else. Um, getting one off me or me building one, um, you can bet your money and you've probably got the only one in the world that's exactly like that guitar. Um, whether it be timber choices or body depth or um, custom inlay work or you know all that sort of stuff um, and that's that's you know that's what my customers want they want something different something unique um, including the sound as well I also um, I do a bit of work through Red Hot Music as well oh, yeah. um, if they get repairs that um, I mean they, they're a music shop they don't have the tools mm -hmm. and they, they can't make the noise that I make you know. Where, where are your customers? Um, a lot of them are based interstate. Um, people uh, who play instruments in Queensland, Melbourne. Um, I had a fella from Melbourne who's been over in the UK for the last year playing gigs all around um, the UK. Um, I've got a guitar over in London. Um, and I've got guitars in Tassie as well. It's um, America's one market I'm yet to crack, but um, competition over there is pretty fierce as well. Um, custom made guitars and, and guitar makers, um, it's a lot bigger industry over there. Um, you've got places like Nashville and and sort of these meccas of acoustic guitar making, um, where um, Australia, there's, there's quite a few guitar makers but you don't even know they exist unless you go looking for them. Um, because most of them are like me, they're tucked away, working so hard and, and um, 
when you're working for yourself, trying to fit in, um, you know, a good solid day's work, plus your advertising, your marketing, your promoting, your updating your websites, your you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, more work than one people can one person can handle, but it's usually one person doing the whole thing, I guess.